Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in digital infrastructure. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined this morning by Russell Agel. He is the VP of Sales and Marketing for BRE Networks. Russell, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you very much for having us. Absolutely. So I would love to start just with a little bit more about BRE and what you all do and what your role there is. So BR Networks has been uh, helping people optimize the deployment of complex fiber networks for about 15 years now. Um, and our specialty is helping service providers, helping engineering firms, helping financial institutions understand uh, where and how to best deploy a fiber network. Uh, specifically, my role is to help with the uh, sales and marketing organization at Piari, uh, and we're growing very quickly uh, in about three continents right now, so it's very exciting times for us. That's awesome. That's what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask what the footprint looks like, so three different continents right now and continuing to grow. That's excellent. Indeed. We started off in Australia. Um, we moved our corporate headquarters for Piari Networks to the United States in the mid uh 2015, 2016 uh, time period. And now we're actively uh, deploying networks or helping to deploy networks in Australia, the United Kingdom, and the entire uh, entirety of North America. Excellent, great, thank you for sharing that. So what about BRE Networks moves the needle and separates you from other providers? We know this is a show where we're seeing a lot of providers. We would love to hear about your unique propositioning. Absolutely, so uh, fiber networks have been deployed for decades now. What sets us apart a little bit is that we are, at root, a bunch of math nerds. Um, <laughs> we have been using algorithms and solvers and a math-based approach to optimize the deployment of complex fiber networks since our inception. It's the heart of what we do. So um, we're very excited to see everyone talk about machine learning, to talk about AI. Uh, we feel like we've been doing this for a long time, and it's something that really sets us apart in delivering high quality planning and engineering uh, decision making um, data to our customers. Excellent. What a what a great way to put it. So there is a benefit to being a math nerd, kids. You heard it here first. You're using it to your benefit. That is great. Stay in school. Yeah, stay yeah, in school, kids. There you go. Um, so what is on the planning horizon for BRE? Um, can you tell us what your partners and clients can look forward to from BRE in the coming months? Two great questions. So I think first and foremost, our customers are asking us for a lot more input and analysis and data on the pre-deployment side of fiber planning. Where should I go? Where should I use my CapEx? Where should I think about providing coverage for uh, fiber to the home network? And there are a surprising amount of details and customization for each of our customers. So we're spending a lot of time helping with that very, very, very early feasibility analysis and decision making. Um, the other part that's very fascinating for us, and it's a hot topic in the conference right now, is power. And how do we understand how to get complex decisions about building networks that support a variety of um, generation inputs? And I think we've, we're going to be talking about that over the course of the calendar year as well. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. really important knowing when to build um, and where to build, more importantly, and then how, what to, how to support AI, essentially. Right? Absolutely. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Um, so tell me a little bit, what brings your organization to Metro Connect this year? Have you had any favorite speakers? I know we're just getting going this morning. We are just getting going. Yeah. I'd say that this conference stands out from a lot of other ones because you are able to take a step back from the day-to-day -day functions of what happens for a lot of companies in this space and work with people at the executive level about not only what's taking place now, but what will take place one, two, three, four, five years down the line. And that's really important for us to make sure that we understand not just what our customers are doing today, but what's going to be important for them in several quarters. This show is um, indispensable for that. Uh, what have we heard? It is early in the show, but I don't think I've ever walked away from a presentation from Marco Ganzi and haven't had something new to think about. Yeah. So yeah, very, very, it's off to a great start. 
Excellent. Great. Yeah. Well, wish you great networking here. So many people here, like you said, it's a great way to do it in person, you know, be able to talk to everybody and this is the spot to do it. This so is the spot. thank you for joining us. Um, I do, before we go, um, for our audience members that would love to learn more about Biari, can you tell us um, how can they reach you? You can always go to biarinetworks.com. Uh, you can look for us on any of the search engines. We're very active on LinkedIn, the usual suspects. So, yeah, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to have a conversation with you about your fiber deployment love planning. It. Yeah. Love it. Thank you so much for being here. It was great to meet you. Um, and to our viewers, stay connected and happy networking. Thank you all very much. Yeah.